Why am I doing this? <laughs> oh my god. Why, why is it that the two times I've played this game have been times where I don't feel good? Wait, where? <clears throat> why am I capturing it? Oh, because it's used to open. Oh my god. Okay, cool. I'll buy that for you. <sighs> See? I'll do a new game. Call me daddy. <laughs> <laughs> Hey guys! Oh, tonight's about to get weird. So Twitch is asking creators to do this like what trash game. Okay, this is this is about to be the weirdest fucking game you're ever gonna see in your life. It's um a mix of anime tropes and KFC and the over sexualization of Colonel Sanders. I I don't know what else to say about that. I am too. <laughs> okay, um, so we're in our student apartment, which looks pretty nice given that it's- I know, right? Okay, so last time I played this game, the only other time I played this game was when I was fucked up with COVID and I had a soup- I had a fever, I had body aches, I had chills, I felt like shit and this whole thing was a fever dream. Ironically, I just had my bivalent booster this morning, so I'm not feeling so good. Which is why I am once again without a camera, and I'm gonna play, uh, <laughs> Sanders. I'm just gonna associate this game with COVID and COVID vaccines from now on. The world can't be peaceful and serene. This, this game exists. Uh, there's nothing peaceful or serene about this game. I can guarantee you that. I can't. Why is BTS on the wall? I. Let's do it. So the clock at the. Yes. <laughs> I uh, threw the clock out the window. Oh. Let's try that again. Look at those biscuits. Look at that chicken. Alright, you guys want to choose my answers? I guess, I mean, we have to do the other one. So smack that clock up and at him. Lying in bed, you stare at the ceiling, thinking about everything that awaits you at the prestigious, University of Cooking School Academy for Learning. That's so redundant. Your mind begins to wander. Who will be there? What will you cook? What should you wear? Time begins to fly by and you find your imagination getting away from you. Do we need to take this seriously? Hey, hey! Or do we uh, allow ourselves to daydream? Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll narrate. I'm down. All right, which one should we choose? Are we gonna do this seriously or daydream a bit? Thinking about the future. Am I supposed to do like ASMR, like the tap on my keyboard? <laughs> well, now I have, okay, two, two votes for seriously. There we go. I also, I named myself Daddy when I got to choose a name so that Colonel Sanders calls me Daddy in this game. Um. I'd better make sure to arrive prepared for the first day. Because I can. That's 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 the answer. That's the only answer. We're going full out weird for this game. There's no other option. You have to embrace it. It's gonna get weird. Yeah, this this game is definitely a hundred percent someone's kink. There's someone out there in the world that has a KFC fetish and they watch this instead of Pornhub. I uh, am I allowed to say that? I don't know. I'd better make sure to arrive prepared for the first day. Bust through your morning checklist. Teeth, 
equal brushed. Hair equals combed. Hits equal deodorized. Nothing can stop you now. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised. That and the entire KFC marketing team, apparently. You confidently grab a biscuit, strut out the door, and head off to class. <laughs> the sound effects. Just what you needed to get your blood flowing. <laughs> Give me a second. <laughs> okay, um... Standing in the quad, you gaze upon the magnificent University of Cooking School Academy for Learning. Here comes your lifelong best friend forever, Miriam. She's the most adorably awkward person you've ever met, and you absolutely love her for it. Good morning, Daddy. Are you excited for the first day of the rest of our lives? I'm loving this already. This is the best choice I could have made for this game so far. This is gonna, this video is gonna remain on the Twitch server for like 90 days or 30 days or whatever it is. Oh my god. Why am I doing this? No regrets. Let's move forward. Actually, I'm. <laughs> because I sure am excited, a little nervous. Okay, okay, a lot nervous. What's the... It's just that this morning I made breakfast for myself, but, well, when I ate it, I couldn't taste any love in the food. What if I'm no good? What if I fail? Oh no, Bestie's having an existential crisis. Classic Miriam. Raised by master chef parents, she's always held herself to a very high standard. Ever since we were little babies, playing together, and you rescued me from that quicksand box, it's been clear to me that you're the most loving, caring person I know. You're going to do great. I bet she has feelings for me. <laughs> <laughs> but with the University of Cooking School, Academy of Learnings... Yes, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> University of Cooking School Academy for Learning's famous three-day only semesters, I'm afraid of being left behind and never catching up. That's stressful. I I would not want to go to a, a school that has three-day semesters. A sweet girl, Miriam has always had a flair for the dramatic. She's correct! A three-day semester is stressful. If you make the smallest slip up, there's no way to to catch up. Like, it has to move that fast in order to fit in three days. No thanks. I don't even want to do a three-week semester. This summer, she got so nervous about her first kiss that she chipped a tooth practicing on a man- Why are you practicing on a mannequin the summer right before college? That's... That... I don't know. That's a little much. I mean, even if you haven't had your first kiss by then, to go grab something that physical as a mannequin... <laughs> Honestly, though. I... Hmm. I practiced on a poster when I was 13 of uh, Edward Cullen. I was like, I'm gonna marry this man. My friends were worried about me. So they're they're very happy I, I, I married a real man. So. Oh yeah, absolutely. Um, one of the my deepest regrets and the darkest, shamest. <laughs> I wish I could say it's not true. I I I look back and I'm like, why? I'm sorry, but Robert Pattinson wasn't even that hot. Like he wasn't then; he isn't even now. Like I, I don't, I don't, I don't know what thirteen-year-old Allie was doing. Hormones got the best of her. I am in therapy. 
<laughs> he was sparkly. I don't know. I, 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 I don't even know, honestly. I, I had a, my 13th birthday. I had like a Twilight themed birthday party. Like literally 100% of my gifts, except for like two things that were like actually like meaningful because it was like my coming into teenagerhood were, <sighs> hey, you were too. You just admitted this, but were you team Jacob or team, team Edward? They're both problematic looking back. There was no good answer, except for the, the fucking, the human guy. He was, that was 13 years, almost 14 years ago. So, you know, it was 2008. It's taking the world by storm. I went to the premiere, the midnight premiere, when Twilight came out. I begged my parents to take me. I had never been to, like, anything like that. I, I grew up with very strict parents. I am honestly surprised that they actually came for that. Probably because they were more okay that I was obsessed with a fictional character that I wasn't a real guy. So they were probably like, eh, we'd rather her go simp over a guy that she can't get into trouble with than be begging us to take her on actual dates. So... Prompt mom and dad for that, I guess. <laughs> all right. Anyway, back to the game. Um, <laughs> so, wait, I already, I already said all that. Okay. Should we pep talk her or change the subject to give her some relief? The two D. She will get the three D. <laughs> all right. I'm using that. I'm gonna use that for the future for my own kid. Honestly. Why are you guys so at odds with these choices? Okay, um... Yasu, I need you to, to be the third person. Break the tie. Okay. Change the subject. It's hard to see Miriam like this, and frankly, quite exhausting. Rather than dwell on her anxiety, you try to change the subject to something more interesting. All summer, you've been hearing rumors about a dreamy, enigmatic mystery student who is enrolled at this school. I wonder who that could be! Is it a piece of chicken? Is it a piece of meat? Yeah, that's a little worrisome, but you'll be fine. Now, what about this mystery student we read about on the school message board? Any new dates? What? Oh, I did? Oh, my bad. I forgot I added, um... I added hotkeys on my mouse. I forgot about that. Well, well it's here. I fixed it. Ah. Ooh, get this. I heard his name is Harland, and he's no ordinary student. Harland? I don't remember this part from last time. They see... What? They say he has powers. He's had them ever since he was born from an egg. Is that his last name? Is that his first name? Colonel J. <laughs> born from an egg? An egg like a chicken? Don't be ridiculous. So... Colonel Sanders was born from a chicken of which he murders to make his living on? What? This is getting out of hand. But the thing about having powers, it would line up with some other rumors I've heard. Like, I heard he once fought a bear with just his smile. You both sigh thinking about a student so handsome that the laws of physics don't dare apply to him. Dreamy. Before you can get another word out, you're rudely interrupted when someone smacks your books and custom engraved measuring spoons out of your hands and onto the ground. We're throwing hands. That's rude. Hey! It's Ashley who has the most complex spelling of her name. Your arch rival. She's totally evil, but you can't help but be filled with jealousy. She can get anything she wants, and she knows it. Just got the little heart. 
She's cute though. Oh, she's thick. She's got chickens. Chicken legs on her thigh highs. Do you see this? No, I like it. It's actually real cute. What a boss, babe. <laughs> Hello, Ashley. Oh, I didn't see you there, chicken shins. She's literally the one with chicken shins. She's got chickens on her thighs. <gasps> she's got chicken thighs. Honestly, like, she's, she's cute. She's mean, but she's hot. Like, is this going to be an enemies to lovers arc? <laughs> one of my favorites. You leave daddy shins alone. <laughs> They're perfectly normal shins. <sighs> you can't stand Ashley. Even her name is annoying. You know for a fact that it's actually Ashley. But she had to add extra letters to make herself feel better than everyone. I know everyone at Starbucks gets her name wrong. If anyone here know what perfect shins look like, it's us. We're not going to let you or your really weird insults get to us. Across the quad, you see Ashley's best friend, Van Van the Man Van, has <laughs> stopped to look at his own reflection in the mirror. His pants are so tight, you can see him casually working out his gl Why are you looking? At working out his glutes while he styles his hair. No lie, they're rocking glutes. Is this man just like casually twerking and doing squats while he's combing his hair? What? Van Van reminded me of a JoJo character. <laughs> Van Van? You rang rang? <laughs> oh my god, this game's so gay. I love it. Oh, he looks like a JoJo character! Like, I wouldn't be surprised if they brought him in the next JoJo. You've never been sure what their arrangement is, but as long as you've known them, Ashley and Van Van has, have been just as close as you and Miriam, but substantially more devious. <sighs> Guy's rocking it, though. Yo, why'd they animate? Why'd they draw in the bulge? This is sus. This, this, <laughs> this is real sus. Alright. I can't believe that University of Cooking School Academy for Learning would ever allow people like you to attend as students. Damn, I mean! I know, right? You think they just hand us our diplomas now? Or with the comeback. Or maybe hire us on as professors. You amateurs could learn a lot from us. Van Van sus us. Confirmed. 100%. With the first day of school about to start, there's just not time to properly tell these two off. So you resist the urge. I mean, we've been doing it for like the last like 10 minutes at this point. Like, why not? Let's go, Miriam. See you later, losers. Just imagine her doing like a little L on her forehead thing. <laughs> the sound effects are killing me. As you approach the door, you see a goofy looking kid pushing hard against the window directly next to it. How old is this child? Like, this is. For real? <laughs> this sus. Oh no. Oh no. His, his opening sound was like a boing and then a fart. Huh? Un I, don't, I don't know. Oopsie! I think it's broken? You reach forward and easily pull the door open. Uh, that should do the trick. I love you! I think you mean thank you? My name is Pop! I was named after my pop pop. He's old. <sighs> Could someone like this also be a student at the school? He must be one heck of a chef. Also, his name tag clearly says Bob, but I guess he's reading it upside down. Hi, Pop. I'm Daddy, so. <laughs> Are you 
going to make me hold this door all day? Don't. I I feel like I need to be less sober in order to play this game. This is this is this is real cringe. And with that, the young man walks into the building ahead of you. Aww. Yes, a hundred percent. Actually, it's not even the name. It's this game. I. I think I need to be sicker or less sober in order to play this. Ha <sighs> Alright, I I don't want to read this out loud anymore. <laughs> Alright, I'll, I'll, I'll keep going. Is it just me or is he kind of cute? No, no, absolutely not. This man, you could babysit him. I think, I think it's just you. You both shrug your shoulders before following him into the building. You stand at the edge of the room, unsure where to sit. Other students wander in and keep themselves busy chit-chatting. Who is the picture of on the wall? Who is that? The best boy? Who? Should I know him? Is that an actual picture of Colonel Sanders when he was young? Wait, I gotta look this up. Give me a second. Young Colonel Sanders. You must be Sprinkles, head instructor and CEO of UCSAL. Please call me Professor Dog. I may be cute and little and fluffy, but I still demand respect. Woof. What? A cute dog is our professor? This is the best school ever. He is really cute. I guess only a dog's nose is capable of picking up all the nuances of fine dining. about to get even more. Out of nowhere, wind begins to rush around as you, uh, around you as a swirl of cherry blossom petals fill the air inside the classroom. I'm chilly. Someone closed the window. Yeah, this guy has stains all over him. It pisses me off for some reason. And then he walks in. Yet. <laughs> I, I don't know if I want to do this. I just play Genshin instead. Okay, um. <laughs> For real. That's the whole appeal of this game. Alright, you're immediately swept up in the aura of this new student and his remarkable goatee. Who knew anyone could be so handsome? Time stands still. <sighs> it's him. It's... If it 
isn't my favorite student, Harland. Colonel Sanders interrupts Sprinkles. Sorry, Professor Dog. Before he can finish his sentence, please call me Colonel. Colonel Sanders. I, I can't even take myself seriously playing this game. Like, it's just so ridiculous. Okay, I'm gonna try my best to get through this. A hushed murmur roll, rolls through the classroom as Colonel Sanders walks down the aisle of desks. Suddenly, the room is sweltering. Sweat begins to bead across your brow. You feel like everyone is looking at you, and you're not entirely wrong. Ugh. And this over here must be sweaty sweats a lot. Real original, Ashley. Maybe we should open that window back up before faucet pits melts into a puddle and evaporates entirely. He's smarter than he looks. You two both know my name. We were in the same kindergarten class. <laughs> so in kindergarten, they were calling me daddy. <laughs> and what is with you, and what is with all your really weird insults? You take a moment to clean yourself up. <sighs> no, okay, so Today and tomorrow, Twitch has, like, encouraged creators to play games that make them go what? Which is why it's tagged as, uh, What Games Week? And then the What Games Awards will be on December 8th. And this is a game that I've played that makes me go what? Because it's so fucking weird. Um, <clears throat> so I'm playing it for that purpose. And I am deeply regretting every single moment. I think it would be a good game to play along with like shots of something. Like if you, uh, you know, with choosing the name Daddy, with every time the word Daddy comes up on screen, or, like every some every time someone has to call me Daddy, I take a shot. I think that would be a really good drinking game, actually. Um, it would also be a really good way to get through this game. Because I am, I'm honestly, I'm struggling right now. <laughs> it's, it's almost as cringe as thinking of my old Twilight days. Probably more. Because I'm not a 13-year-old girl in 2008 swept up in the hype of this. This, this was a conscious decision tonight. <sighs> okay. <sighs> okay, let me, let me, let me try to get through this. It's a good thing you didn't forget about the that deodorant this morning. This classroom is hot, hot, hot. <sighs> Professor Dog steps in to settle the class down and set some ground rules. Welcome to University of Cooking School, Academy for Learning. We also should take a shot every time we have to read that out loud because that's a mouthful. The greatest culinary academy in the world birthplace of culinary legends past, present, and future. Many challenges await you. There will be tears. There will be blood. This doesn't sound very hygienic. Where's the FDA? I know they're around here somewhere. They might, there might, there might even be really adorable tiny food. I do really love a tiny food. There's actually this tiny food cooking segment that I think BuzzFeed does. Let me see. Tiny cooking videos. Oh my god, it's so cute. Yeah, it looks like it's... Okay, so Tiny Cakes does one. It's so cute. And then, I think... Tiny Cooking... Didn't BuzzFeed do one? Yes. They also, Tasty and Buzzfeed also did tiny cooking stuff. And it was really cute. And when all of this is said and done, there will be a battle. You will lift your sporks and compete in the broom cooking arena. I do really love sporks. Just then, another student enters the classroom and interrupts the professor's rousing speech. Hi guys, sorry I'm late. I hope everyone had a good summer. 
I really miss this guy. He was a nice guy. He was just trying to make friends. Quiet. Late to class is bad enough, but interrupting my monologue? You're on the fast track out of here, young man. Are you sure you're even in the right place? Don't you recognize me? This is my third year in this school with you as my teacher. Honestly. Trash kid knows. Everyone stares at him blankly. Does no one remember me? I'm... You're expelled if you utter one more word before I finish. Look at his little paws. Look at his tiny little tail. He's cute. Let that be a lesson to you students that tardiness is unacceptable. Yeah, because this fucking semester is three days long. Like, also, why is that guy there for... This is his third year when the semesters are three days long. What? Even Clank made it here on time, rolling halfway across town on his tiny wheels. Okay, I loved Clank. Clank was great. You turn to see the student Sprinkles is referencing, who appears to be some sort of industrial kitchen appliance. <laughs> class bursts into laughter. I liked him. Oh, Clank, you rascal. Sprinkles walks into the classroom as everyone stands in silent obedience. When he gets to you, he lifts his nose into the air and takes a deep sniff. Hmm, your diet is lacking. Based on what I'm picking up here, you definitely need a multivitamin. You should be taking better care of yourself. <laughs> You've never had a talking dog as a teacher before, but Sprinkle's reputation for being smart but tough is well known. You decide to try and butter him up by giving him a treat from your pocket, but what kind? Alright, you guys pick. I've got one vote for beef treat. Beef treat? Alright, two, two for beef treat. You reach beneath your apron and return with a small bit of beef jerky in your hand. Sprinkle's eyes go wide as he locks onto it. Beef? Are you trying to give me a heart attack? I would never eat that. You clearly do not belong here. Please remove your apron and then remove yourself from this class and this school. Okay, great. The stream's over. I don't have to do this anymore. Thank you so much. <laughs> Oh, can I be done now? <laughs> Please. <laughs> it seems you've reached the end of the line, chef. Proverbial game over. Please, I'm begging you. <laughs> Change game? Sure thing. Um, I'll end this stream because this is part of like hashtag, and then I'll I can set up a new stream where I just play Genshin or something. That work? All right. I don't want to play this anymore, Babs. This is just sucking away the life that I have. Yeah, Babs, go to bed. Was that 3 a.m. again? I don't want to play this anymore. I, I want to play Genshin instead. Alright, I'm gonna, I'm gonna. No. No. Debs, you, you stream this game. I'll, I'll watch. <laughs> Trade. I don't, I don't want to be the player of this anymore. Yeah, honestly, I, I'm voting for, I'm voting against this. Alright, I'm gonna go play Genshin. I'm gonna see, I'll see you guys on that stream. No! <laughs> you can't force me!